Does it have any reverb? Because that would be nice on my voice. <laughs> well, hey, uh, Maggie, thank you so much for coming by. Like, what have you been up to lately? Doing anything amazing? Cool? Switch back. <laughs> um, I'm on tour right now with Sabrina Carpenter. I'm opening up for her. So that's been going on, which is so cool. She's amazing. Um, and then I also have a new single coming out on the 22nd called Friends Go. Yeah. yeah. You're about to perform that for us in a little bit. And you're also performing with Sabrina tonight at the TLA. Is that going to be fun, exciting? Do you have any surprises planned? Yes. So, um, yeah, I'm about to perform for you guys. And tonight, yeah, I've been performing the new single, which isn't out. So it's really cool because I'm being able to like see people's reactions and stuff. Yeah. Um, so I guess that's like my little surprise. Yeah, but, that's awesome. Yeah. I remember back in 2016, <laughs> I first heard your song. And it's so cool meeting you and talking to you right now because Pretty Girl came out. And um, I'm also friends with T-Codes, and I heard the remix. I actually played the remix on my former station a bunch, mm -hmm. and um, it was just so good. Like, what, you know, you're not just a pretty girl. I love that message. What, you know, what else is behind that that, you know, made you write that song? Um, <laughs> Mike. Um, well, at the time, I was kind of getting into being, like, a singer. Like, I've always sang my whole life, but, like, I was, like, actually doing it as a profession at that point. So it was people weren't taking me seriously or they were like oh you're just pretty like don't sing or like kind of stuff like that which you know like when it, it, was, it was just something that like weighed on me a lot because everyone was like you're just pretty like don't like you don't have anything important yeah. to say like you're whatever like you're just like, stick to that good. and I'm like yeah no like <laughs> what no this is like something I actually want to do it's not just like a thing I'm doing because like why not like yeah. it's actually something I really like care about and want to do and so like that was kind of the message behind that and just like tr that transition and yeah that's awesome. I was um so I was doing my research earlier, and by research I mean like stalking you on Instagram. Yeah. Um, and I, I came across this one picture. Your shoe game is unmatched. <laughs> like I came across this picture. Yeah. I was like, God, I almost not came back out of my chair. I was like, oh my god. I don't know if you can see this, but like her shoe game is un freaking matched. It is amazing. <laughs> right now it's subtle. Right but now, it's so yeah. Heavy. Right now I toned it down because it's really cold outside and it's yeah, snowing. It is. Oh so my god. I was like. Oh, sorry. No, sorry. <laughs> this mic. Um, so I, I turned it down, but like, yeah, usually even on like stage tonight, I'll be wearing like some really? crazy stuff. Knocking yeah. them out of the Like I, I love, <laughs> I just love to feel really tall because I'm really short, so that's uh -huh. like the goal. Mm -hmm. You, um, you performed with Khalid. Tell me about that. Khalid is so cool. What was that like? What was that, that, uh, that dynamic like? Well, okay, so I opened up for him in Japan. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, he's just amazing. Like, he's so talented and I love his music and... I don't know, I was just so excited. In, in Japan, like, on top of everything, like, it was in Japan, which was so sick. Uh, but it was really cool. I mean, yeah, we went out to Japan. I was there for, like, maybe 48 hours. Um, just quick. And really quick. At least you didn't get lost like Shawn Mendes, because then, you know. Yeah, yeah. At least I didn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, good one. Um, <laughs> but, no, yeah, it was really awesome. He's amazing. And uh, it was so, it was so cool. So you've been with Khalid, Sabrina now. What's the craziest thing that has happened like, why you've been performing with them, or, you know, backstage, what's the craziest thing that has happened so far? Um, craziest thing. Wow, I think, is... oh my gosh, I think, like, actually, probably, I did this show in Norway, and I wasn't with anyone, this was, this was just me, um, but that was probably the craziest experience, because I'd never played, like, a big, festival like that like that was yeah. like my first one and there was like some crazy amount of people like not, like i don't want to say the wrong number but like tens oh, of thousands God. of people <laughs> like so many people and um everyone was singing my song like everyone was singing along it, been such an it was feeling. such an amazing feeling that's like probably the craziest thing that's happened like crazy stuff's happened but like that was like the most like overwhelming thing that's ever happened to me wow for sure. and, like shook you back yeah i was so like Oh, because I was so nervous, yeah. and then it happened, and I just felt so, I don't know, happy. Mm -hmm. It was so cool. Uh, you also just had a song come out called Obsessed, um, and I thought this was funny. You know, at the end, it's like, you know, I'm obsessed with me, too. Yeah. Um, what, what made you write that song? Uh, you know, did something spark that? Were you like, damn, this guy is so obsessed with himself. You know, what, you know, what made you write that? Uh, so I feel like everyone's been with someone that's like a little too self-absorbed, like talks about themselves too much or, um, you know, just is too into themselves. 
So we're all guilty of that. Yeah, I mean, we've all done it before. But um, yeah, at the time, I was just, I felt like I was just, uh, I don't want to like, whatever. Call but someone. yeah, I'm calling someone out literally. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just like had been in that situation and it sucked. And then I realized like, you know what? It's fine. Like if you want to be obsessed with yourself, it's fine. But like, I don't want to be a part of it. And then that was kind of the ending, like, because I'm obsessed with myself too. It was like all right, like, that sucks and everything. Like, you're obsessed with yourself. Go, like, undress with yourself. Like, go yeah. be with yourself. But, like, you know, I'm kind of obsessed with myself, too. So I'm not going to hate on you too much because, like, <laughs> I'm obsessed with myself, too. Thank you, next. Bye. Yeah, kind of exactly. Same same vibe. Yeah. Um, you, you have a bunch of influences and everything, and they're not, you know, typical pop stars. You're kind of like an anti-pop star kind of thing. And, you, you, you know, one of your idols uh, or a couple of your idols are Banks and Lana. That's about Lana Del Rey. She is amazing, by the oh, way. I love her. What about her, you know, do you look up to? What what about her inspires you? Um, just that well, I think that it was like the time I found out about her was like 2011 or 2012 and there wasn't someone that was like that. Like there was yeah. there was, you know, there's like rock stars and stuff, but there wasn't someone that was literally like her image was being this like old-fashioned like sugar daddies and like all this like stuff that no one was doing and it was so like inspiring to me because it was like she was talking about some real stuff and she was doing it so nicely like it sounded so beautiful and um her her like creative direction and just the way she dresses and her music videos and what she says it's like all it just was so nice and it flowed so well and it just like inspired me because i was like dang she just did that like no one was doing that and she did she, I really, really like her aesthetic. Like, she has such an amazing aesthetic. Oh, and back then, when she did come in, like, 2011, I, uh, I was actually dating this girl. One of my exes um, was so obsessed with Lana. I literally, and of course, like, I was young and, like, obsessed, you know what I mean? Yeah. And um, so I literally burned her, like, three CDs of all Lana stuff and bought her, like, merch and everything. Mm-hmm. Obviously, like, now we're broken up. She's married. I'm, we're only 22. Like, I'm 22. Yeah. She's <laughs> married. Like, all right, anyway. Um, <laughs> I feel that, yeah. It was a show. Yeah, now we're here. But, uh, <laughs> but no, um, you have a brand new song called Friends Go coming out March 22nd. Yes. Um, tell me about that. What is it all about? So it's about being with someone that isn't really there. Like you're, you know, you're hanging out with this person and you're with this person, but it's more you. Like it's you having the conversations. It's you asking them to hang out. It's you doing everything. And like, your friends are all saying, leave this person, like, they suck, they're not good for you, like, all that, and yeah. you're just so obsessed, and you don't want it to be true, and you don't care if it's all you, because you just want to be with this person, and, like, and the end result is, like, you know, your, your friends are like, all right, well, <laughs> peace, yeah. so, so it, um, it has, like, a few different meanings, but that's, like, because, like, you know, in it, like, I, it kind of like went all over the place but that's like yeah it's it's yeah well that's awesome you're about to perform it yeah. for us along with um another song or two yeah. um and then you're at the tla tonight with sabrina yes. that's gonna be amazing by yeah, the way gonna do amazing um so give it up for maggie lemon yeah.